Hey everybody, this is Michael, aka Faithful Raider. Just checking in today on my VA, uh, my HCG vlog. Today is VLCD 21. Um, I uh, just want to check in for my weight. Um, my scale was being weird again today. I don't know, it, once in a while it does this. Um, it had, couldn't decide if it wanted to be 299.8 or 300.4. That's kind of weird, right? Like the first time I stepped on was 300 by four, but I always hop on uh, a couple times just to make sure of the weight, and I only count it if I get it two times. So then I stepped on it again, and it was 299.8. I thought that was a big thing, big difference. So I stepped on it again, and I think it was like 300 300.4 again. And then I got back on, it was 299.8. It was just back and forth. So <laughs> I walked away a minute, came back, got back on the scale. It was 299.8 again. So I said, okay, I had that one three times. I'm going to count that one. And besides, I'd rather call myself 299 than 300. But uh, that makes me think that tomorrow my weight is going to be weird just because I don't think the scale was actually right. So I might be 299. I might be 300. Either way, I don't know. Um, today, today was a hard day for some reason. I don't, maybe it was being at home or the fact I had to go to the store, um, and, you know, buy groceries, all the things that I can't eat. Um, but I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling good today. I was in kind of a little bit of a bad mood. Um, I was, I felt hungry a lot of the day. Um, I don't know if it was true hunger or just you know, emotional, wanting to eat stuff I can't eat, but uh, it was, it wasn't like the weird cravings that I usually get, it was like, I'm close to like just bagging this and going and eating kind of feeling, I mean, that's, I mean, I wouldn't, but that's really how I felt, I really had to stop myself from, from doing that, it would have been really easy to slip up today, so I just figured, you know, I just push through it, keep myself busy, not try to think about food very much. I have eaten like everything that I'm allowed to eat today, um, except for my apple, which I'm getting ready to eat right now. I'd save that for the for the end tonight. But I uh, I've eaten. I feel a lot. I <laughs> it's not a lot. This morning I had my protein drink because um, this morning I was feeling pretty good. A little cranky this morning. But, you know, no hunger this morning. It all came in the afternoon. I had my protein drink in the morning. had my apples not too long after that. Uh, and my breadstick. And then I had it about 12, 12 or 1. And around 4, like right before I had to go to the store. No, around 3. Yeah, around 3. I started feeling super hungry. Super hungry. Like my stomach was rumbling. I mean, it felt like I would feel before I was on HCG hunger. Like, if I was on HCG, I would have gone on a tear today. It would have been bad. <laughs> like, bad for, like, not diet, you know? It would have been, it would have been a lot of food today. Um, and um, I think part of it was my daughter was, my daughter was saying she was hungry all day today. I had to keep fixing her food all day long. And I, like, and I started this morning getting her a big bowl of breakfast, of cereal. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give her a lot. Because she was saying yesterday she was kind of hungry too. But today she was just like, every two hours, Daddy, I'm hungry. Daddy, I'm hungry. And I'm like, you're kidding me. So I had to keep coming back to the kitchen, keep making food for her. And that may have been a reason why. That one, I got a little cranky. Well, I was already a little cranky. But two, just smelling food and being around food all day long today just really got me hungry, I think. Um, and then we went to the store, and of course she wanted everything. Um, and she's gotten actually kind of good, you know, for being a seven-year-old. She she likes to look at labels now and look at the sugars and stuff on it. So, um, but still, she wanted a lot of stuff today. And of course, all the things that I would love to eat. <laughs> but anyway, so I got, so I was at the store, I bought some more chicken. Um, thinking, you know, I'm going to do chicken at work probably because that's the easiest at work. Um, but I also bought some tilapia because I just wanted something for a change. And so I got home and I cooked it around 7, 
about three hours ago. I cooked it and it was, you know, it was actually pretty easy to make. I just did it um, in the skillet and um, it was pretty good. I put some pepper and red pepper and cilantro and then um, lemon juice, of course, and then some hot sauce that I bought my brother. It told me about this hot sauce that, that he got at Walmart that tastes really good and there's no sugar or anything in that. It's, you know, just regular, you know, tomatoes and and uh, habaneros and vinegar and water and whatever. Anyway, it was really good. So I had half of it without that. And then I'm like, oh, I wonder how some hot sauce would taste on this. Um, and I put the hot sauce on it and it was, it was good before. When with the hot sauce, it was perfect. Like my mouth was burning, but the flavor was really good. So, you know, the tilapia is a, a really good fish. That's actually the first time I think I've ever had tilapia that I can remember. Um, not as good as fresh caught trout, I mean, frozen tilapia, but, um, it was, for what it was, it was good. And I really liked it today. So that came in handy. So I did try something else. Um, I really did like it. I definitely want to incorporate it a couple times a week, I think. Um, maybe twice a week. Um, I need, tomorrow I need to go to the store, to the health food store. I told my brother yesterday, I can't go in there. They won't let me in the health food store. They're like, they know me. They're like, it'll be like, you know, photo recognition when they walk in, wait a second. This guy is not allowed in a health food store. <laughs> um, I'm going to be like the guy who's like, you know, never been in the store before, wandering out, trying to look for things. They have no idea. That'll be me tomorrow. So um, my first adventure to the health store in a long time. Um, anyway, yeah, I need to pick up some of that, um, that protein powder. Um, I'm still kind of like, I'm not sure on it. I, I don't think I can have it every day as my protein replacement. Um, it just, I don't know. I mean, it tastes really good, but it's not fulfilling. At least chicken, you know, I can chew. And you know, most times I don't feel like chewing. Today I did. And, um, but I have my protein shake instead because I said I'd try it. Um, so I don't know if that contributed to the hunger either. I'm not sure. I'm going to wait and see. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my, my, my chicken as normal. Um, and then, um, if I, there's times where I just like, oh, I don't feel like eating my chicken, then I'll have the protein drink instead. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Like today, today I'm going to have no problem eating it. It makes me think that tomorrow I'm going to have no problem eating everything too. Um, so I'm not sure about the protein drink completely yet. Um, I think that's about it for today. I'm trying to make these videos shorter. I know they get long. Um, Oh, I, I went and bought some more of the vitamin waters. They seem to be okay. I've been doing about almost one a day or one every other day now. The vitamin water zero lemonade. Um, and it hasn't seemed to affect it. And, and like I said in my other video, I think it's actually helped. Oh, uh, well that brings me to water. Um, yeah, I'm about mm, maybe 45 ounces of water. I gotta drink water before I go to bed. I'm gonna be doomed. I gotta get another 20 ounces in at least. My, I, I just noticed that at home I just don't want to drink water and it's not like when I'm at work. At work it seems even easy, it seems easier than being at home, which doesn't make any sense, but um, that's what I've noticed. I think I'm more a little bit more disciplined at work. Maybe just the home environment is kind of, you know, makes me think of all the times when I would just, you know, all my routines for eating. Um, so I notice on the weekends I do struggle. This is, you know, this is my second weekend on VLCD. Um, and I don't remember the first weekend being this bad, but then again, the first weekend I was super busy. I was out fishing and, and stuff. So this week I was just, you know, I went to my brother's house yesterday, but today I was home all day and yeah, I'm the sitting at home, I think is being bad, making it bad. So, um, me and my brother, me go fishing next weekend too. So that will kind of help distract me. And that might be my last weekend of VLCD just the way things work out depends it might be close um so i just seem that i'm ha i have more success uh in terms of you know 
hunger control or cravings control or whatever you want to call it um, when I'm at work just because I think my mind is not on it so yeah uh, that's about it um, so I'm excited to be at you know under 300 let's hope it stays for now for the weigh-in tomorrow if it does I'll be a little disappointed but it's not to be unexpected the way my scale was being today but let's hope um, and that puts me very close to 30 pounds I think I'm like 28.8 so I could be at 30 pounds in the next day or two maybe and you know the 34 hopefully by the end of the week that would be awesome and then so from anywhere past 34 is just gravy for me I guess shouldn't say that it's just bonus for me <laughs> it's just bonus for me so um, you know I'm pretty stoked you know, I was talking to my brother yesterday, some of it was just like, like he's done really well and he's lost, I think he's at like 50, right around 50, um, I think. But like seeing how much he's lost and like where he's at and where I'm at, like I'm almost to the part where he started. So he was, you know, around pretty, you know, I'm still a ways to go before to catch him before he did his first round. And I know I really shouldn't compare that. But, you know, part of me is just like, man, I wish I was already where he was at. But I'll get there. I just need to, you know, just do what I need to do. And, I mean, it's crazy to think it's only been three weeks. It feels like a whole year. <laughs> it's only been three weeks and, you know, so a long way to go. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to cut it short here. Um, thanks everybody for watching today and I uh, hope you had a great weekend and good, everybody good luck next week on your rounds and uh, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.